Hello guys, Cosmic Mermaid Tarot. Oh, I'm excited. And you want to know why I'm excited? Because I haven't really been in the mood for tarot, okay? And then I had, you know, I guess a boost of confidence and, and I guess reassurance and someone was just so kind, okay? And I love when people are just so flippin' kind and I love when people are just so loving and they just make your day so much better because they vibrated high and they came to see you or just anything like that, okay? And besides that, okay, what is the best time for tarot? Okay, when it's raining and it started to rain and it's not even like a heavy rain. It's like a summer light rain and I fucking love it, okay? And now the energy was just like time to play time to play with tarot and now i'm like so freaking pumped <laughs> are y'all ready so i want to do a few different ones okay i'm still gonna do us capris don't worry don't have a stroke everybody chill <laughs> i'm gonna do a capricorn okay first okay and then i'm going to do a couple other ones okay like virgo aquarius and we'll see what happens if i can get through you know all of those right now we just have enough juice for one reading real quick okay so i want to get into this i I have a little setup. I'm ready to light the candle and let there be answers and light. <laughs> if you're doing well, I hope, or if you're not well, I hope you're doing well, um, or I hope you get well soon. Please, if you like my content or love my personality or think that I'm funny or just love my readings and they resonate, can you please hit like and subscribe? Um, yeah, I have real birds that are outside the window that are tweeting and talking and they're going to be a part of our lovely intuitive journey right now. Let's get started. So this is the lovely setup that I've got going on. This is how I always set up. I have these, oh, this beautiful magenta. Oh my goodness. And then, you know, I'm always the pink and purple. Pink and purple. And then I have a bunch of loving crystals right there. My basket here. The crystals I'm going to use right here for the energy. I have snowflake obsidian. I have this, which I, I still think is either magenta or I will call it chocolate cherry stunning. And this type of an amethyst. Very, very beautiful. Two, two, two. Oh, yeah. See alignment. And then, oh, beautiful snowflake obsidians. Love it. Love it. Love it. I picked my beautiful, colorful, colorful decks. I'm ready for spring. Okay. My, I'm going to clarify with that deck. This is my mermaid angel and fairy deck and then I just I pulled a small stack of my spirit animals out of the basket that was in the front and we'll just shuffle from there and get what we can let's get started Cappy. <clears throat> I'm excited what's coming in for my Cappies? um you know whether that be love money finance career mm, haters <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, what's going to show up in our lovely energy today, guys? How are you doing? I mean, remember, only take what resonates. Never force a story to fit, okay? Never, ever. Oh, yes, okay, thank you, thank you. All right, yell at me again, that's fine. I love when spirit tells me what to do. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop, did y'all hear the candle? <laughs> Anyway, Cappies, yes, we're going to use this gorgeous deck. I'm ready for a freaking summer and some better weather, some better energy. I feel like I've been a bear that's been asleep for freaking four months. <laughs> Brain fog, depression, winter city, I'm telling you. Not my time, not my... I mean, if you're an earth sign, you know, man. When winter comes, we have to, like, prepare to feel like crap. And if you're a Cappy, you know. You know... I'm saying to you, okay, what has happened here? Excuse me. All right, we're gonna do. Hmm. We'll see what just happens here. What, what, what comes out for us, Cappies first? Okay, Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Oh, she's a gorgeous beast. Oh, she's stunning, huh? All right, I think you're holding on to something too tightly. Holding on to something too tightly is your main energy here, Capricorn. Um, your present energy. You're, you're holding on to something. I'm not sure. I think that you're being too cautious. Um, okay. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions. Giving to those less fortunate. See what I mean? Okay, look. I have to say this to you, Capricorn. Okay, if this is the energy that you're in. I, we, I know that what it's like to have 
a stunning, beautiful, giving heart, and you want to give even when you have nothing. You still will give when you have nothing. But remember that that is where you have to stop and draw a line because you're not pouring into yourself. You're actually pouring from an empty cup right now. But like at the same time, okay, it does say that you're being too frivolous, too cautious with money. And it says, it says good business decisions. So I think it wants you to make better decisions. Like, I think you're holding on. How do I want to say this? To helping other people when you don't have enough to help right now. I know you don't want to hear that. And I'm so sorry. That's the energy that you're in. But I know that you want to give to those who are less for fortunate right now. Okay. But I'm not telling you to hold on to your money. This is usually it says you're being too cautious. Like, and you're holding on to your money. Like you're being too, too, I'm too greedy. But right now you only have the four of pentacles. So try to find a balance. Okay. If, if you're not doing well with money, try to not give so much and be an over pleaser is what I'm trying to say to you. Don't. You can't pour from an empty cup. You have to love yourself first. I'm going to say it like it is. Let's see what we get for your negative or positive influence here for Capricorns, please. And thank you, Spirit. Can we have that? Thank you. Two cards. Okay. See, guys, you have another four. And then you have 14. I'm just going to say that you're divinely protected before I even fucking go a step further. And then you're at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. You're the queen of freaking pentacles. You are um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, you know, but still, this is you. And let me just tell you, this is amazing how it's clarifying for us. Um, you do have the four, okay, of swords, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then you have, you know, your own energy. You have earth element here. Um, you have pentacles and then you have swords, but right here, okay, with your air energy that you have going on, this is where you're not giving yourself the time to rest, to heal, to take a break, to take a moment. I want you to understand that Rest is such an asset to the human body when it is exhausted or mentally conflicted or, or let's say you're, okay, I feel like one of you Capricorns are draining your energy very, very badly. I feel like you don't have a lot to give, okay, but you're giving anyway. But then it's exhausting you. It's making you tired. You're actually kind of maybe regretting and being a little bit regretful after the kindness and I don't want to say this and and please don't shoot the messenger okay this is just what I have to fucking tell you that's going on here and in, in the intuition and in freaking the message coming out you are you know I think you just need a period of rest I think you need to take a break from being so kind to everybody and I need you to think of yourself this is time for you self-love a nap please pour into you right now this is the message I'm getting stronger than fucking ever. And it's telling me that, okay, if you rest, okay, and you make logical decisions because you had good enough rest, you, you, you did things out of logic instead of out of impulse, okay? Like, you didn't just, like, you're not thinking before you're giving, I think, sometimes. You're just handing out. I think that you're being... It's just giving such an opposite energy, which is absolutely insane. It's as if that you're, it's, it's as if your four of pentacles is in reverse and I cannot stand the way that feels, um, right now, but I can't, we're not taking back this cause it's even clarifying that you need to find balance here, balance with how much you're giving and how much you're keeping for yourself, balance on how much love are you pouring into others? How much love are you giving yourself? How much rest are you actually giving yourself or are you pouring all of your energy into everyone else and being full of fatigue and I'm tired and I'm exhausted and, and, and a lot. And okay, let's just say, okay, you, you have a, it's not a negative or a positive energy for your influence. It's telling you, the universe is saying it's time to rest, okay? And it says time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. I told you that as long as you are, okay, resting before you're impulsing, like making a decision that's impulsive, then you're going to make the right decision. That's amazing, okay? And then you have temperance balance number 14 and because there's a one and a four there okay i always just do we have four 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 okay times one you're divinely protected i'm done and this just this says a need for balance and moderation cooperation and compromise wait for perfect timing now this is in the base of your situation so this is seriously the main focus here is how much are you giving to others how much are you giving to yourself this is the main energy of your reading here and then it's just clarifying it's telling you 
please, Capricorns, I need you to love yourself. You're thoughtful, you're creative, you're warm, you're sensible. This is why you're a giver. But at the same time, don't give too much. You're going to just deplete your energy, feel imbalanced, feel like, oh my goodness, I didn't think before I made that decision. And then you're going to regret and resent that. And that's not okay. You don't want to feel like that. I'm going to take the next card that's coming out as saying to go. I'm going to go. And then I'm taking the two of pentacles. It's, it's balance again. So I'm going and I'm going to go from the bottom of the deck. We're done now. It's saying go, go, go. So there we are. Now from the top, I'm going to take one, one, two, three, four wow at the bottom of the deck you also have the seven of cups you do have options you have decisions to make though is how i'm feeling your options in life for love for how you give and receive it um you have to make some decisions i'm gonna get to that here in a minute let's let's talk wow capricorns i have to say how the reading is whether anyone likes this or not okay please do not treat the messenger you okay it's not bad it's really not okay you see how you're the queen of pentacles and you're like oh my goodness no matter what i'm a capricorn i'm that goat i'm gonna make it happen 11 fucking 11 freaking right I don't want you to feel like you don't have enough money. Don't ever doubt yourself. Have your confidence and hold it freaking strong. And remember that you are an independent earth sign. You are stable. You are a baller. You're you're one of the money signs. You're an earth sign. You, you really do. You're one of the hardest working zodiacs in the zodiacs, okay? And, and I'm not going to put anyone down, okay? If you're not working, then you have a reason to not be working. Um, whether that be mental health, whether that be an injury, whether that be right now you just don't have a job. But no matter what, even if you didn't have a job, you are still this warm-hearted person who's always thoughtful. But this is in your past position. So I want you to understand that you are changing. You're going to change, I guess, maybe how giving you are. But at the same time, I think you're still going to make time for everyone around you and yourself but remember this is all about balance and how you're spending your money and pouring love into yourself right now i'm gonna say it again i mean this is amazing and you're crowning thoughts here okay this is beautiful energy when i tell you that the what what goes across matters what is up and down matters you have the knight of cups which means okay this is in your thoughts. What does this mean? This means you have to pour into yourself right now. I said it already that you cannot pour from an empty cup. I need you to start to remember to receive love from people, not just give to people. I need you to also receive love and give to yourself, not just give to other people and not yourself. I hope I have said it enough times for it to have sunk in by now. Um, I do want to read if I did not read. No, I read that one already. Okay, hold on. Now, I want to read your Queen of uh, Pentacles energy. Okay, now, this is in, you know, your immediate past. So, let's just say, you know, what have you learned from your immediate past is that you want to make time for those around you, but take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So, I also think that people are going to be kind and understand as well. Like, okay, you probably think, oh, if I don't give to these people, they're not going to understand. Oh, freaking well. <laughs> Um, but I do believe they're going to understand. And if they don't, then they're not your people. They're not your people. Look, okay, I can't even take it because of the way it's falling over here. We have the hangman and the sun card trying to pop out. But we're just going to just, just fix that pile and leave that alone. <laughs> we're not ready yet. Okay, and then in your crowning thoughts, it's just the way everything is falling together. What do you need to do? You need to rest and recuperate. You need to think more logically about the decisions you're making with your life. You also need to be more emotional, uh, like towards yourself, empathetic, enthusiastic, um, contemplative is where you're really thinking first, kind of, you know, you're, you're weighing your pros and cons before you either love somebody, pour love into people, or you let, you know, or before you don't pour into yourself, like it's time for you to pour into yourself and receive. And this says falling in love. It says weddings, proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Okay, now the Knight of Cups, it could be an offer, it could be anything, but I'm not getting that energy. You know, I'm just reading what it says at the bottom, and the only thing I'm getting from this is that you are balancing your emotions for real because you're balancing it with yourself and others. And you're getting that rest to make this decision logically like you're supposed to, Capricorns. And are you ready for the double balance here? Okay, 
this is in your immediate future is the two of pentacles. It's where sometimes you still feel like, am I juggling? Am I juggling to give and receive? Am I juggling with my money? Did I give too much today? I think that sometimes you will still end up, you know, sometimes in that past pattern because it's, it's hard. It, you can't just heal and change overnight. It, things take time. Balance is going to take time. Um, you can't just snap your fingers and be like, yes, it's over. No, it's not. You will be nice again. You will be naive again. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. Do not change your loving fucking heart, Capricorn. Don't you freaking dare. Just know to set firm boundaries and to remember that when people see how you respect yourself, they're going to respect you the way that you are respecting yourself. Don't give too much because then people are going to take too much. Okay? They're going to think, oh, she don't give a crap about herself. Let's let's clean her out. Let's let, Or clean him out. Don't do that to yourself. Ever. Right here. Okay. You have balance already, okay? The temperance card. It just means, like, seriously, the base of your situation is you are going to find balance in every aspect of your life here, whether that is giving and receiving here, okay? <clears throat> in love and money. And the two of pentacles here, it is stunning. Just look at that. Beautiful. This is why I picked this deck. It says, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Okay, so even if you have to, like, deny and turn someone down because you just don't have the money right now or you just don't have the time or or the energy, speak your mind in a kind way. But don't you dare let someone freaking drain you, keep taking from you, and make you feel like you're completely juggling everything because you're in the middle of finding balance. We're not going to do that no more, okay? Like, you're not doing that. That is your immediate future to where sometimes you're going to hit that, that pause button. And you're going to wonder, holy crap, I have to hit pause because I have so much going on. And I'm going to make an irrational decision and I'm going to give my last freaking two pentacles. And then I, and, and, and I can't do that. I have to consider a more playful approach to tell these people, I'm so sorry that I, I can't help you out today. And, and believe me, kindness is the key to everything. If these people are your people and they're meant to be in your life and they are good for your highest good, they will understand. Now we have some Virgo energy. We have the Hermit card coming out here. All right. Now, this is in your fears, Capricorn. I think that you're fearing maybe coming out of your shell. Maybe you've been hiding all winter, like I said. We've all been feeling like the bear that's been hibernating. You know, we've been waiting for spring to come so that we can actually go out and ground ourselves, be in the nature element that we are, and start to heal and have fun. This is Virgo energy, but I think that you finally have seen the light. You're like, you know what? I... I just want to hold on, but not hold on too tightly because it's still okay to be my beautiful, giving, loving self towards others. And I just need to remember to do that towards myself. Remember that you are always in your power, no matter how much you doubt yourself. If you need to like feel like, okay, I'm going to work harder at this and you want to be more creative and you want to make another part of income or a multiple streams of income, you do it, Capricorn. Um, just remember that no matter how warm and thoughtful you are, I don't think that's ever going to go away, but remember to, it says again, in a kind and understanding matter is how you're going to have to deal with the way you give and love and receive and, and, and how people take from you. And then it just makes more sense. It says, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Again, it's like rest, the four of swords, meditate and decide. I, I mean, we have the word decision so many times and kindness and, and find a more playful approach. And, and it's just, you are seriously overthinking it. I can feel it, Capricorn. Which one of you are overthinking how you're treating people? You're so afraid to say no. Do not do that. You will look like you have weak boundaries and you will attract low vibrational succubus vampire sucking energy. Don't do that to yourself. So, okay, this says self-discovery, spiritual teaching. See, you're teaching yourself some self-discipline and structure, which is amazing. I believe this is amazing. You're just fearing saying no. You're fearing that once, you know, you start to come out of the bubble more and summer or, or spring hits and you're just like, oh, I'm going to start to be a little bit social. I'm going to come out of hermit mode, but I'm worried about, you know, did I learn enough? Am I going to be able to say no? Yes, you freaking are. Even though you're fearing, can you do this? You've had the spiritual teaching and the self-discovery, and you have spent enough time meditating and contemplating about this. You know that you can give yourself the love you deserve now, and you found a, a medium, a balance. This is beautiful energy. Look at this. This is even more amazing. This is how people view you. 
if this is how your energy truly is right now and you're balancing out so much, once you stop giving so much to everyone, Capricorns, I want you to see what you can build for yourself. This is the Seven of Pentacles, which is seeds well planted, seeds well grown. This is so much growth and this is this is where instead of you giving too much to others, you have poured so much growth and, and you finally like put some money away and was logical, responsible, um, stable, um, but still very thoughtful. You now have like no unnecessary worry. None. You have money in your back pocket. You have a little bit in the bank. You you were able to give to the to a few people this week and make yourself feel fulfilled and, and you know that you know you gave to the universe and and the universe is is just so it's gonna be grateful and I want you to still be grateful. Be grateful for the way that you have rose up from being an overpleaser and overgiver and having some firm boundaries and actually starting to remember that you do need to come first, Capricorn, no matter what. It's not being selfish. It's being it's doing the right thing so you don't get breadcrumbed and taken advantage of. I'm not telling you to be a heartless person or be cold at all. I'm saying do what you have to in that fucking moment if you have to. If there's somebody who's, like, demanding something from you to take from you or, hey, I need this, I need that, and they don't even have a, any manners or a please or a thank you, then bye! My seeds are well planted. I've had growth, and you better learn, you know, some too, I guess. You know, people should never come back like that towards you. Um, but this is how people view you. They view you as very smart about your money right now. Very smart about your money. It says seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. I told you, and did I not even already say the word pause? Did I not already? Like, I, I'm, I can't even. The cards never lie. This is where your pentacles are so stable. Okay. Like, you even have enough, like, for, like, to share, like, you've been sharing with people, you might even have, like, enough to go on, like, a small vacation, or, or go to a casino, or, or just, just go have fun with your, your family, or yourself, however it resonates, Capricorn. And then we have, okay, what is in, tell me, I just have to draw it a blank, give me a second, gotta go over the cards, present, influence. Ah, drawing another blank, okay, base, past. Crowning thoughts, immediate out, immediate outcome, fears, how people view you, your hopes. All right. Alrighty, so. Oh my goodness, this is the hope card. Oh my goodness, and it's in your hopes position. What is the five of cups? It's when you cry over spilt milk, but you finally have the two cups behind you that resemble, represent hope. They represent the word hope. I'm on a few of my other decks, the one word on them cards is hope for the five of cups. This is where you've been, you, maybe, okay, maybe you, okay, like I said in the beginning, I felt some, some regret, some resentment, like, oh my goodness, I have to cry this out now because I gave too much to someone today. And now I wasn't thinking logically, I was thinking from a, a quick mindset instead of a logical, slow, a thought out one. And I gave too much, now I'm at a loss. And I think that sometimes you think, of the past or the way that you were treated, I think it actually does affect you emotionally the way that people actually were taking advantage of you at the same time. Um, the way that people treated you, I think, made it really hard for you to close off some doors. I feel a lot of sadness from this card, um, but I feel hope too. I will say that it says at the bottom, things not turning out the way you had hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation, but crying over spilled milk. But now you have, okay, you see one, two, and three at the bottom. Okay, you see the three spilt cups. The cups from, whether that be past relationships, past partners, past people that maybe you poured into that seriously just left you high and dry. Left you crying, left you feeling bad, never were there for you like you were there for them. That kind of weighs on you. And then when you do pour into a lot of people too much, it can actually make your energy feel like you got taken advantage of and then it it's a whole nother way of feeling and then you're stuck in your emotions like wow I didn't think this out clearly and then but now this is a beautiful thing okay this is in your your hope so you are going to get what you're hoping for and you are going to turn around and see that there is two beautiful cups of love that are standing right behind you whether that is two new relationships of people two new friendships two family members two supportive loving souls okay energy however that is that is right behind you just turn around capricorn and see the good 
forget the past, leave the spilt milk where it is spilt. You, you know what? Clean it up, wipe it up, get rid of it, get it gone, turn around and see what you still have that you're grateful and thankful for. Don't stay in that energy. Now, we still do need one more card. I'm going to take it. What's your outcome? Your outcome is the seven of cups. Do you know what this means? If this is your outcome, this means you have a lot of beautiful, loving options. This is water energy. Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, let me just, just say that. Okay, I didn't say that. Okay, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups and this is, is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It is loving or emotional. Okay, it, it's always about like emotions. It's water. It's it's how you feel. It's It's everything, okay? The Seven of Cups is a beautiful card if this is your outcome because you have a lot of options either in love or a lot of options in like, okay, we have the number seven again. I'm going to say it. Options in wish fulfillments, like very good options. But this is, again, this can be a tricky card because you want to make the decisions that are logical. You don't just want to be like, oh, I just want to buy this car because I have money or because I'm doing well. Don't let your temporary emotion of excitement get the best of you and you make a bad choice for because you wanted to just choose what looked like a shiny new diamond but really was a fake, fake freaking 14 karat gold. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, like, it wasn't even real. Like, okay, I don't know how to say it. Like, it wasn't a rare, genuine diamond. It was actually, like, you know, the fake, the, the pawn shop one, you know? Don't just grab things. And then it does say make, it says a complex decision the need to do research and stop procrastinating. Okay, so I would say when you do your research, if you're highly int intuitive or you can just feel if a good person is good or bad or if something is good or bad, okay, then maybe you don't need to procrastinate. It says stop procrastinating and make your decisions because I think you have blessings coming in, not anything that you're going to grab that's going to be a bad cup. Um, seven's a lucky fucking number, okay? And it says a complex decision, which I would say is logical, a logical decision, or just maybe, maybe not overthink it so badly, but at the same time, quick. What does it say first before you overthink it? Quickly ask yourself, is this cup for me? Is this not for me? Is this car for me? Is this house for me? Is this person for me? And then I want you to quickly answer it, not overthink it from a fear-based mentality, a blockage, a past um, trauma response. Don't go there. Okay. Because this is a blessing and all I feel are blessings. I don't feel like there is going to be a tricky cup of love here. That's going to wear a false mask or a liar or a cheater or a, a car that's going to break down. I don't believe that they're selling you the bullshit. This is not that fake shiny new toy. I saw 2727. Um, this is a beautiful energy. There's another seven. Do you see what I'm saying? In that 27, we just had two sevens. Okay, seven, seven, seven is your freaking number, whether anybody likes it or not, and four, four, four. So you are divinely protected, and you have so much luck here. Your outcome is amazing. Oh, my goodness. This is just so amazing. Wow. You guys have at the bottom of the deck now. I'm pretty sure it's the full card because it says Leap of Faith, and it says the Dreamer. Everything maybe that you've been dreaming of. Oh, it's definitely, it says a leap of faith, follow your dreams on its unexpected opportunities. Let me just tell you that how beautiful this new beginning is going to be for you because you want to know what this is. This is taking that leap of faith to be in a new beginning. You've been dreaming about this for a long time, Capricorns, and it's time to take that jump. Time to take the leap of faith. The universe is literally delivering you blessings. And if I have to describe this card the way that I do all the time, I'm going to do it again. All four major arcanas that are aces. Ace of pentacles. Ace of swords. Okay. All of those. All four of them. Is all four in one. The biggest new beginning major arcana. The full card. You have huge blessings and abundant beginnings waiting for you. Now, let's go over your overall energy here. Um, I would like to say that, okay, this is this is the energy that summarizes everything up, you know, for you Capricorns. Like, what's going on in this, okay? I'd say that in your past, it's showing up some past energy because you were carrying other people's weight. It's proof. You were given so much that you just, you're working so hard, you're just helping too much. And, and instead of, like, receiving from anyone else, you know, let me read it, okay? 
too much work, accept help from others, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. Do you see what I'm telling you? Did I not tell you we needed balance? This was all about balance. I couldn't have freaking, like, ever came up with this shit any other way. Like, this is insane. This is where you're carrying it everyone else's weight in your own. It's time to set the weight down. Okay. To me, it looks like, holy shit, this is crazy. Everybody's bow and arrows have dove into your basket of money and have literally been taking from the responsibilities and money you have to pay your bills, finance, and and pay for things in your life. And it's been weighing on you heavy. You cannot carry any more weight. You cannot help anybody if you are Not helping yourself first. This is a beautiful card. I can't tell if that is the face of a dragon wrapping its wings around everything. Um, But there is just too much weight on you. It's proof. We do have six of cups. Past people. Past energy. This is memories. This is exactly why you have the five of fucking cups. This is nostalgia, and it says memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children or romanticizing about the past. This is you thinking of lost love, lost situations, situations you can no longer control. You cannot change. You can't get a sorry. Now it's too late. And I know that sometimes, you know, we romanticize about things that, that were good. Um, like childhood was great probably for a good bit of people okay like say you had friends in your past maybe you're thinking of those memories because that's kind of what I'm getting but I'm also getting that the people that maybe you thought were for your highest good whether that be children kids family members exes people there's actually faces on them cups 3131 I just seen um yeah, you you know, maybe you reminisce on some of the good things, some of the fun times. Like, see how these two kids are swimming together with a the dolphin. They're having fun. They're playing. They're careless. They're free from their stress. And they're so young, they don't have responsibilities yet or stresses like an adult. I think that's, that your step, that maybe that's what you're thinking of, you know. Maybe you, you wish things were easier like they were in the past. Now things, people treat people different. They... they take advantage. They're not as loving. Like a child comes with so much love and acceptance. There's no judgment when it comes to them. Sometimes things come out of their mouth that are actually shocking, but it's okay. Now we do have the three of wands. Finally, okay, we've been getting some wand energy, okay? There has been no fire energy here. And so Sagilio Aries, but the three of wands is a beautiful energy. It's time for travel or it's time that you have actually made the decision to take that next step. It says abundance, Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. I told you, you have choices. You have money. You're like fucking put away to where you're you're just so stable and grounded right now. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. In such a great energy. You have so much balance showing up here. Taking your fucking power back, man. Abundance is on the way. Make long-term plans. Maybe there is somebody that may travel towards you. Long-term plans here? Hmm. Maybe you're just making, like, long-term plans, like, long-term job career. It could be career. It could be long-term plans, like, travel to go buy a house. Like, a long-term place where you want to live for a while. Um, But, yeah, something long-term. Travel. That's definitely involving travel, though. And abundance. (laughs) Now, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Could you be any luckier? This is seriously just good luck in general. And it's Archangel Michael who, guess what he does? He protects you. You have 444. You had 3333. Oh my goodness, we had 3333 on Archangel Michael. This is not a joke. It says a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Cappies fucking love this. And then we have 1010 in your overall energy because of 10 of wands. And number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune card. You guys have one hell of a freaking reading. I absolutely adore it. Let me get you a little card for your animal spirit for the day. I would say that we're going to keep what we're getting. All right, so... 22, and we have Dragonfly Spirit, and it says, Truth Transcends Illusion. All right, let's read what it means, guys. So we have the hen and the rooster that came out, and I wasn't even pulling our uh, 
bird card yet, but okay. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate that. I'll pull another one. Thank you. And we have the crow. Oh, yes. I love the crow one. <gasps> Look what's sticking out, guys. Do you see how things don't lie? Do you see how things line up? Okay, do you see what's sticking out? Do you see what's sticking out? Okay. Are you ready? Crow. I'm done. I'm done. Are you kidding me? That's the shit. Okay, let's read. Okay, you have 22 and 17. Two and two together is four. I'm sorry. I mean, come on now. And then we have one times seven. Okay, if I if I have to say it, or we can just make it the number eight, whatever you would like. I just still see another seven, and I oh, it's just what? I'm down. I'm ready for this. Crow spirit says to co-create with spirit, and then the other crow card says, "Well informed, whatever the source. Listen to the messages that reach you from all directions." <clears throat> <laughs> okay so we have that beautiful crow spirit twice this is amazing and then you have the hen and the rooster it says renewal vitality take responsibility for yourself and for your life and it says you know truth transcends illusion dragonfly spirit so let's let's let, let's dive into what that means here 22 Dragonfly spirit is here to remind you of the wisdom and truth available at all times. Just as a dragonfly catches your eye with its reflective wings and body, dragonfly spirit appears to tell you to pay attention to the truth beyond the illusion and recognize the insights that come seemingly out of nowhere. In the realm of spirit, there is far more wisdom than you can perceive with your senses, and there is a deep knowing that you are not separate or alone for a higher power recognizes you and loves you beyond measure. Are you ready for this one? Fear dissipate. Fears dissipate as you realize you are embraced by the nurturing force that is everywhere. Always in communication with you. It says, Alighting when you are preoccupied, Dragonfly Spirit offers this message. You exist in unity with all, including the protective spirits who share their wisdom, and you are being nudged along the path your soul needs to travel to have the experiences it craves. Beautiful. Lovely message. Now let's read your 17 Crow Spirits. I love this message co-create with spirit guys source god however whoever you believe in okay um universe um all right and it says as you look around you you can sense the magic that pulses through the world oh it says can you sense the magic that pulses through the world as you look around you have you witnessed how every thought can become a thing how every intention can call the universe into action as the sacred laws shape what you experience. The universe works in perfect order. When you align your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs with spirit, you will want to crow with delight, feeling the excitement and wonder of being in harmony with something much larger than yourself. Co I'm sorry, Crow Spirit says you are right on target now to see your dreams magically come into being. In the visible world, the laws of abundance, compensation, frequency, and praise are operating in your favor. Oh my goodness. Okay, it also says, hold on. Remember to be grateful and praise what is yours, even if it is still coalescing into form, still residing in the invisible realms of co creation. No matter what area of your life you're concerned with now what you hope for is on its way for spirit is your co-creation partner i love it i love it now remember to listen to all messages um <clears throat> including from <clears throat> humbly me <laughs> and take responsibility for yourself and for your life okay now i will get three cards let's get the first one to clarify your first row please and thank you can we get one card to clarify the four of pentacles queen of pentacles our capricorn hermit card lovely energy please and thank you 
Holy shit. It says renewal on the one card and we have the death card number 13 rebirth. Look at this. Look at this. The old you is now stepping into fucking like empress mode. Oh my goodness. What a clarification Capricorn. It's over top of the queen of pentacles. You are going to find the balance here that you need. You're going to have this beautiful death and re rebirth. Oh my goodness. Am I loving it? Okay. Now let, let's clarify your next pile. I'm not even going to deal with that card that just freaking tried to come out. You're out of your mind. Anyway. <clears throat> answers and guidance, please. And thank you, my beautiful source spirit answers. Please and thank you. Positive answers, please. For pile. For the four of swords. For the knight of cups. For this. Okay. For the beautiful results that we have here. What do we have? Queen of wands. She was meant to come out. Heck yeah. Are you ready for what came out? as well. When I ask spirit for positive messages, boy, does it deliver. You ready for what this is? 10 of pentacles. Same card that you already have. Seven of pentacles. Your damn self, Capricorn, again. Are you kidding me? And you're about to take your power and your sexy back and have charisma and attraction in all fucking ways. Abundance, sexual... Um, however that resonates for you. Holy crap, did you get a clarification for that, that row. You know what? The Three of Swords did want to come out. So I'm going to grab it because now it's making sense and I just didn't want to deal with that energy. But I can't just fucking do what I want to do, you know? I got to pull it. It might have been on the camera, you know? I mean, I don't know if my cards were when they dropped, if you guys saw it. All right, there she be. It came out first. Why were you feeling brokenhearted? The clarification here is because you needed rest and you needed to pour the love into yourself. You felt exhausted, fatigued. You felt, like I said, a little bit of resentment for giving too much. And that is the clarification right there. And then your next card is taking your power back, taking your sexy back. Time to pour into you, queen. Time to not feel like shit because, you know, people were crappy. Uh-uh. I don't think so. And then... Literally clarification. Okay, let me just say here. We have, I have to make sure I can see, the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, okay? I told you that it's just such abundant energy coming in for you, blessings and all. And now it's saying that you do have legacy money coming in. A lot of money coming in. And looks like somewhat of like a family, maybe somebody in your family. Um, You may be stepping into a, I want to be in a long-term legacy. I want a family long-term. Maybe finally, you know, after you pull yourself, like, I told you you have options. I told you that you have options in love, seven of cups. And then it's clarification that you have double the seeds well planted. No wonder you're in ten of pentacles energy. You are so independent and responsible and financially stable right now and smart about your money, Capricorn. And then it's just clarifying. You're not playing no games no more. You have worked on your shadow self and you have taken your power back. That cup of love that you've been pouring into everyone else, it's in your hand, baby. Drink that, drink, drink up, baby. Drink that, that beautiful wine today, okay? <laughs> if you're an adult, if you're an adult, you know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, let's keep going. Let's clarify the next, okay? Let's clarify your balance. You have balance choice. We have the temperance card. We have the two of pentacles. And then you have what I would say is a number two again, because two of cups is on the five of cups card. That's the two that is hoping. That's the hope there. And then we have 22. I'm telling you, the messages are wild. Answers and guidance for the balance here for Capricorn, please. Please, Jumpers are appreciated, Spirit. Please, please, what is the message and the clarification here, double clarification here for this energy? Two cards, three cards. Holy Six of Wands, which is fire energy, and this is you taking your power back, baby, and loving yourself. Four, four, four. Four, 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 we just seen on the clock. Go back and look. This is success. This is you being successful at doing what you wanted to do, which was co-creating how the life you wanted to co-create or treating, being treated the way you wanted to treat it, respected how you want to be respected, and you're going to get that right now. 
And then you have the sun card and the moon card. Where's the sun and the moon? How dope is that, Jen? Capricorn, what you don't see coming in the unknown and the subconscious is that there is happiness all around the world waiting for you. We have the sun card. We have Leo energy. You're stepping into your happiness, your power, your success. Oh my goodness. And then it's just literally going to be known. 44, 44, divinely protected. Divinely protected. Gosh, what a fucking outcome. And at the bottom of the freaking thing, we have a beautiful Pisces Cancer Scorpio that possibly may want your yo cheeks. Yo, yo beautiful face. <laughs> you take that how you want to, okay? Uh, male or female, I think that love is coming in for you. Um, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, is there love coming in for you? There is real love coming in! <laughs> divine match both people who have been probably through the same stuff mirrored souls soulmate energy a divine match that's going to come into union a queen and king of cups here this is both loving energy maybe you have water in your chart Capricorn. i don't know but then we have the ace of wands a fiery new beginning someone who is going who, who looks at you like i said sexy you are in fire energy you are in three queen energies you're in your own which is queen of pentacles you are in the queen of wands you're in your fire charisma attraction and you're in your loving energy. Excuse me? Excuse me? Male or female? Okay. If you're in your feminine power, then you're in your feminine power. Either way, I feel like there's a masculine power that's coming in. Otherwise, a feminine, no matter what. It's a water sign. <clears throat> oh, and then, like, all the luck over here. This is just clarifying all this beautiful. This wheel of fortune is literally, like, clarified by love and major arcana, fiery new beginning. Not just with like love or a relationship it's with creativity and and passion and talents and hobbies and and making money and the things that you love to do i just want to get one more card it's telling me please get one more card so i'm gonna do it one more card yeah <clears throat> ten of wands is clarifying that you're done you're you're out of the look how beautiful she is okay once you literally let go of the how do i want to say it the 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 balloon's full of freaking cement, okay? Let's just say it, all right? Let's let's just say they're not full of cement so that they can fly away, okay? Let's let's try to do this, okay? Or the bricks that we need to sink, all right? Either way, however you want to do this. Once you let go of the weight, you're gonna feel great. <laughs> it seriously is clarifying. You have been in some shit and you deserve better. Look, six of swords is your row, row, rowing that boat the fuck away. And taking your power back, Queen of Swords energy. You're in all four queens of you're in all four queens energy. And you have somebody who is in very, very I wanna take action. I want to communicate. I want to tell Capricorn how I feel. I definitely have feelings for them. Yep. <clears throat> I believe they're gonna they're gonna fight for you. Like I don't think this is conflict like that. I believe that they're gonna fight for you. Um holy shit, the full card came back out, guys told you you have all beautiful new beginnings look another another one fighting for you like another person otherwise it's new clarity we have the knight of freaking swords here you even have yourself again queen of swords or another earth sign i told you you have options and why do you have options spring's about to be here and you have came to a completion baby you have changed your life you, you have set firm boundaries you have healed yourself in ways no one ever thought possible capricorn you've taken your power back in such a way that we're done with this reading i love y'all co-create with spirit remember that you have the b most beautiful shit ever today mm, i love it i love y'all i send you my love and light um oh just remember take this in capricorn accept this message if it is yours if it is your message if you're doing too much for people find a balance i send you my love and light peace